Mercury is India's exciting space mission on the moon. The Vikram lander and the Pragyan rover have landed on the lunar south pole, making India the first country to ever do so. Mm. Although it isn't India's first time to land on the moon. <gasps> Check out our new short to see why this is such an incredible feat. BRICS, a group of developing countries that include Brazil, Russia, India, China and South Africa are now expanding after over a decade. They're bringing in new members starting January 1st, 2024 and they're hoping that this new move will help expand their influence around the globe. Even Vladimir Putin supports this decision. The head of the Wagner Group, Yerevan Prigozhin, has reportedly been killed. Putin also commented on this, acknowledging his talents and mistakes, but saying that the Kremlin had no part in his death. He died in a plane crash, and the causes of the plane crash are being investigated, although it's very likely that it was caused by the Kremlin. Donald Trump and 18 others surrendered in the Georgia 2020 election case, and he turned himself in for the alleged overturning of election results. Uh -oh. His even historic mugshot was taken because of this, and this was his fourth arrest this year. Huh? He is the first ever former US president to be arrested and to have a mugshot. North Korea announced that its spy satellite missile did not go as launched again. And in the Jeux des Îles 2023 Madagascar, there were many deaths and injuries uh -oh. because of an overpopulation of people. Coconut Day is celebrated on September 2nd every year to raise the importance of why coconuts are so essential in agriculture, culture, and even industry. Did you know that coconuts are not actually nuts but a type of fruit and they can float in seawater on seaweed for a long time which is why they spread so fast? Hi everybody, in this week we're interviewing Dr. Skyata Wallace who is a women's leadership expert and a development psychologist. I hope you enjoy her incredible insights. I'm Dr. Seattle Wallace, and I am a uh, researcher and a psychologist, and uh, I recently started my own business, so I'm an entrepreneur as well. When um, I was younger, I was really into science a lot. I loved to do a lot of the different science fairs and something that we had called the Olympics of the Mind. Yes. And I had a science teacher that pulled me aside and she was like, you know, you're really, really great at science and you can be a scientist one day. Um, but she said to me, you know, sometimes people will look at you and say, because you're a girl and because you're a woman of color, that 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 you're not going to be able to do that. But I want you to remember that I told you that you can. I see that you have that mm -hmm. talent. So I um, I ended up going into science. Um, I went to college and I actually thought I was going to go into medicine. So I was pre-med and I took mm -hmm. a lot of classes and I realized I really liked the psychology classes a lot. And so that's mm -hmm. what I ended up pursuing was psychology for my degree. But because I was always interested in science, I actually ended up choosing the research side of psychology. Um, so my company really focuses on supporting women and girls who are in STEM, we work with companies, and we work with different types of institutions, schools, and universities to right. help provide programs to help women learn and girls learn how to build those leadership skills. Well, I will say that I love the next generation. I love your um, confidence. I love the fact that you really have you're not waiting until you get to be grown up to build your ideas and to actually contribute. Thank you for watching and help us get to 1000 subscribers by liking, sharing, subscribing and commenting below. Thank you and stay tuned for next week.